you know. Alrighty, welcome back to the Sandcast, your favorite place to sit and listen <laughs> about volleyball. <laughs> Today we got a special episode. We got the Desert Queens, who were the Snow Dogs. Is that what our nicknames are? Yeah, but we're, now we're the Snow Dogs, <laughs> and they've, you've evolved to the Desert Queens. Yeah, yeah. Yes. regional so evolutions. You guys were killing it overseas in the snow game, and now you went to Qatar and took home the gold. Uh, for the four man, I don't even know what you guys were doing out there, so we're gonna have to talk about it. <laughs> it looked really fun. <laughs> it, was. it was super fun. Yeah. Um, thanks for coming, guys. And and we uh, thought we'd do it on a really hot day. It's about ninety five degrees in the studio today. Just keep yep. you in your home environment. Right. Exactly. <laughs> this is small. Hey, You're this is where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> there is no Doha. That was so intense. <laughs> you guys are the official extreme environment. Players yeah. For, yeah. for our national team. We just go to all the events where it's like, you know, normal temperatures and both cold and hot ranges. Yeah, we'll send was, you guys out there. What was Russia? Russia was like 20 degrees. 20 degrees, but it felt like negative. It was cold. And then <laughs> was this so was cold. like 96, and it felt like, like 120. Yeah. Any weird volleyball weird. event, sign you guys yeah. up. Yeah, it got weird. <laughs> say yes to it all. <laughs> On and off the court. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, uh, <laughs> give us kind of a rundown of like what this force thing was. Because I don't think a lot of people knew that it was like, so it was an event, like the first of its kind, it was like the World Beach Games, which is because I think most people like keeping up didn't realize that there were other events there. So it was kind of like a weird pseudo Olympics and you guys right. were there to play fours. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So it was like the World Beach Games, um, ANOC, did we ever figure out what ANOC yeah. stood so for? Um, not off the top of my head. Probably something <laughs> super good and descriptive. Right. Um, I guess it was supposed to be in San Diego, and then, for whatever reason, they moved it to Doha, Qatar. Oh, so they, that was the same event. Yeah, same event. Got it. So the yeah. private funding for San Diego fell through. Right. Okay. And so Doha is evidently not short on money. Correct. No. <laughs> no. Not at all. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> yeah, so it was like a mini Olympics, but kind of like you're saying... Queen's a weird, like, we were probably the least weird sport there. There was, like, yeah. sand yeah, karate. Like sand karate. No way. Sand um, wrestling. Water skiing, yeah. Wrestling in the sand, which is kind of wild to me. Had <laughs> handball, <laughs> too, which I thought was epic. Which and the best rule was? Oh, if you do a 360, it's double points. Yes. It's yeah. like scoring into the net. It was epic. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We also, were not joking. Shout out to Beach Handball. They train in LA. So yeah. we made friends and we're they all. They train in Redondo. I'm just going to go train with them. Yeah. Open invite to you guys too. Athletes. Sweet. Oh, totally. For That's sure. That's a nice sport. It is. Like, anyone yeah. who can yeah. perform something athletic on the sand like, has to be. Pretty good, Pretty good, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And but for us, we're like in a little box, so we're not like running too far. They're like running full court. It's like playing yeah. full court basketball, but in, in the sand. And there was yeah. three on three basketball there too, it right? Was. Not the sand. <laughs> not not the sand. Yeah, we don't. We don't know where they played, but it was there. It was well, there. I never saw it though. I saw no. like the athletes, but do we yeah. know anybody who played in that? Because the U.S. could put a badass three-on-three basketball team together. Right. I don't know. <laughs> uh, they had it at the Pan Am Games, too. Okay. And I guess they, like, won there. So I don't know if we won. I don't, I don't think we won in Doha. I don't think we did. I doubt it was, like, an yeah. NBA team or players. Yeah, as have se- to pay as the lot. season's about to start. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. LeBron like, hey, was kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> then you know that Qatar's dropping some serious <laughs> oil money. <laughs> That's insane. But you guys are uh, your world champs. Yeah. Congrats. I mean, you ended last year in Moscow. You ended this year. Maybe. We don't know. We don't know what events are going to come up between yeah, now and December. You ended know. this year four on four world champs. Um, kind of a cool way to end the year. Just a little bit different. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, yeah, I think, I think like, I feel like this year is still bookended by that, like, Moscow trip because that was yeah. kind of the origination of the snow team right so it's like looking back just 12 months it was like how did we get roped into all these strange right. amazing it's country crazy. trips and all these like different environments um but basically usa keeps emailing and we keep saying yes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, like, yep, mom, yeah. we're doing it. <laughs> i know i'm like i'm definitely done for the year until they send out an email in a week and they're yeah. like do you guys want to go to you know azerbaijan <laughs> probably say yeah, yeah. <laughs> most likely <laughs> I remember last year when um, I was talking to you before you went for the snow trip in Moscow. You were like, because Katie asked you to play in Norseka, and you were like, oh, 
fine. And then she was like, and then you were like, do you want to play snow volleyball in Russia? And you're like, hell yeah. Right, yeah. You're just like, anything that's a little bit different, you're like, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I think she, like, pushed me out of my comfort zone, and I'm like, well, they're going to pay for us to go to cool places, and if we can keep winning, like, let's do it. (laughs) Is that kind of the main motivation right now? Just, obviously, it's not paying out yet. Maybe it is. So maybe either you just want to travel and have fun, get reps, or, you know, maybe you're seeing something that you want to invest your time into, because obviously you guys are the ones getting the emails now, because you guys are performing for USA. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Is is it kind of a a little bit of both, or what's the motivation for you guys? I think it's like a little bit of everything. I mean, Mm -hmm. like, obviously travel is awesome. We, like, our whole group loves traveling, Mm -hmm. Um, and getting the reps, and it's just so freaking fun. Like, we have so much fun playing all together, so. Yeah. 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 And we could, like, actually see it potentially becoming something, Mm -hmm. like, 2026, they say, (laughs) like, could potentially be an Olympic sport for snow volleyball. We'll see. That's what I'm but. thinking. Like, first of all, I'm not getting any emails, so <laughs> <laughs> a little bum there. A little butter. <laughs> Everyone looks like they're having a lot of fun. I think Actually, it's below I w- your pay grade. I wouldn't. <laughs> it's a sweet spot. You want to be yeah. just below world tour. I, just. Would, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to go, but I want the email. Yeah, you still want right? the invite. Yeah, yeah. Email. just to be like, hell? okay, they thought of me. Bunch of my <laughs> friends out there. Sean, no. All these people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. But no, at USA Volleyball, I mean, the fact that they're flying everyone out, they're mm-hmm. flying out Phil Noyes, who's, I don't know what his title is, but, you know, they're investing Undefeated money. Undefeated World Tour coach now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's pretty much the greatest coach of all time. <laughs> you look at records. Yeah. Um, but they're investing into it. You can tell. And like you guys were saying, Jamie Davis, the CEO of USA Volleyball, was out there for snow volley. Brazil is flying out Jiba, like their greatest indoor player ever. And Marcio, who's like a silver medalist. Marcio. <laughs> and the women's team that we played was In Barbara, yeah. Fernanda, Rebecca, who just qualified for Tokyo, Juliana. Oh, I didn't yeah. that was, so we got four Brazilian. Four yeah. yeah, like you guys were supposed too, to lose. To be fair, they <laughs> paper. absolutely dunked on us yeah. in pool play. In pool play. It was so just just dangly dangly we're one and one. Oh, like, yeah, exactly. We're like, oh, you know. Yeah, so even just playing against them, I was like, oh my god, I love you guys. Like, yeah. I'm kind <laughs> of obsessed like, with watching oh my them. Gosh. You guys are my idols, it's fine. Well, yeah. you know what else is crazy is, if you think about it, so none of those women made the Olympics, right? Because Brazil's qualification period is over already. No, Rebecca did. Rebecca and I. Uh, I think Patricia Rebecca did. did. Oh, they were mm-hmm. both there? Uh, just uh, Rebecca. Did, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. she was setting. Ah, I got it. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. I was just thinking maybe like some of the players are looking forward, like, oh wow. We're not the Olympians for Brazil. We're on the tail end of our careers. Maybe we transition into this. Yeah. I feel like people are seeing, like, some serious value in this. The other like, avenues. People want to oh, yeah, invest definitely. time into it. But, like, no one has really, like, come out with, like, this is what the sport is and what it's going to become. Or at least I haven't heard it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Carissa, you've played, like, every version of the sport. Pot, like, you played King of the Court, right? In yep. Hawaii. And yeah. You played that one too, right? Not the one in Hawaii. But Huntington, in Huntington, though. Huntington. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So you've both done King of the Court. You've now both done Fours. You've done Snow. And you've done... You've played in the Six Man. Normal. I'm and sure. you've done Six yeah. Man. Six Man. <laughs> have, you done, have you done Grass? Yes. I've not. You, I love okay, a good so Grass we'll, tournament. We'll it. No, it's awesome. on Bucket List. Okay. Yeah. Um, what... What what version of the sport do you think is like going to last? Because I don't think like seven are gonna one. make it. <laughs> Some Wallace. Wallace. I would be, would be in. <laughs> I'd be in for about seven minutes till my heart <laughs> gave out. Like, <laughs> Sub, no they gotta make the court small. Yeah. Sure yeah. I mean, I think right now it's just like they're almost doing the like spaghetti, like throw everything at the wall, see what sticks. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just kind of in the name of growing the sport, which I don't know if you can get like big name players like. So many of the Brazilians are buying in. Like Europe's got a lot of good teams, at least for right. snow. Yeah. Like, they're pretty for stacked. Sure, yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, I can't tell which is the f- most fun to watch. They're all so fun to play. They're all so fun to play. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite? <sighs> to play, I think snow volleyball is just like so different. Yeah. yeah. And just different environment. I would say that. Just be three like, on three too. So yeah. a Different number. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> But 4v4 was awesome, too, so it's, I don't know, hard to say. It sounds so fun. Yeah, it um, was. I mean, I want to play in the snow. It sounds so weird. It was. But I, <laughs> I think 4's beach 
especially with that crew that they just had out there. Right. Riley used to be my setter in college. And oh. Like come in the middle maybe and slice and dice. Nice. Yeah, you Wait, have to. Were you, you guys to... running middle like once? Oh, yeah. Hard yeah. Time. Hard time. Watch out for hard time. Bear hard time coming in hot. Hard time is <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> it's just I like, love playing yeah. middle. Yeah. I was watching the Instagram clip. It was like, holy hell, she's in her element. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was insane. Yeah. <laughs> just like run the one every time. <laughs> yeah, so we were like, I feel like through pool play, it was like we kind of figured out, okay, the one's going to work. Like, said yeah. Emily. Yeah. That's our best play. <laughs> right. But it was like, we couldn't really figure out the pin hitter situation yet. It was like, right. does tempo better? Is, uh, like, high ball better? Yeah. And the sand in pool play was super deep. So that already just messed yeah. with your timing. Exactly. You guys play on different courts they, So they the did tournament? the whole tournament at um, one facility with, like, more deeper than Which Hermosa is, sand. It's, it's the like big the, sports facility, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah I played Martin. there crazy. twice. That's two right. of the times I was there. And then one time we were down on the bay. Finals, yeah, finals so were at Qatar Beach. Were, yeah. Okay. And yeah. that was jumpy. Yeah. yeah. Super. Right. That's yeah. where it was this year. Uh, the FIVB. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Huh. Yeah, so we hit the finals and it was like, oh. Everyone's, Everyone's like, like jumping out right. of the sand. Right. But the sand, sand. is super <laughs> yeah. nice at the facility, right? Like, yeah. It's super. Yeah. It's perfect. Super perfect. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, definitely different. And yeah. it's yeah. hot in there. There's yeah. no wind. Did you guys play at night? I was going to say, we played at night. We only had one morning match that was at like 9 30 or 8 30 is the hottest i've ever been really, in my life really <laughs> yeah. thank god we had subs because we were all just like oh my god this is yeah. so freaking hot so if it was doubles we would have died yeah seriously. how was it compared to bonaire because bonaire was one bonaire of the was really warm that i've played in yeah i would say it was it was a lot hot, hotter than that a lot hotter mm -hmm. good heavens yeah Dude, and we were playing 4v4 yeah. four and we were like getting exhausted yeah like, you got four people well, yeah. actually, so our mean, down the rallies, the rallies are, are probably longer, right? In they course? they, they were in the deep sand. Yeah, okay, definitely. Oh. But yeah, <clears throat> down our down ref almost passed out in the middle of our match. They oh. had to like stop, and he had to, you know, it not pass out. Really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not die from standing yeah, you're there. You're just standing there, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. imagine like all running around. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I looked over at Reeves at one point, and like she she sweats more than normal humans a little bit like I don't sweat and I was like yeah. just a waterfall and she literally looked like she was peeing her pants cause just like <laughs> just so like much water everywhere. I was like oh my god Jeez. yeah what was Ooh. the how'd you guys find so I mean you four the, the snow dogs are, are pretty much a set squad at this point you got you two um, which I don't even know if we introduced you guys we got Carissa Cook and Allie Wheeler oh, oh sorry, yeah my um, hey. Katie Spieler and uh, Emily Hartong and mm -hmm. then for this one you scooped up Agena Urango and a Kelly Reeves, How, what was the recruitment process like? Because I'm sure there's, at this point, there's no shortage of people who are like, weird event, yes, I'm in. Right, yeah, I don't even remember who asked who. Yeah. Also, I, for the people listening to audio, I'm Carissa, our voices sound pretty similar, so yeah. it might just be like, have, like yeah. two <laughs> Santa cruz -y girl voices, but um, yeah, who, who put this one together? I don't, I don't know. I thought, I thought you did, no? It might have, might have been me. I don't Happy remember. It happened, yeah. though. I feel like Gina was probably an easy ad because, like, she was playing with Emily. Yeah. Right. I think she actually might have been the one who was kind of like, let's actually do it. Okay. Because, actually, you know, I remember I was out of town because they were going to do a uh, qualifying tournament. That's right. And we are like, okay. all right, whatever this means. Like, yeah. we didn't know how many teams were signing up, so we all had to, like, sign up online and... Um, like prepared to this tournament I was like I'm yeah. not gonna be there good luck you guys yeah like <laughs> just figure it out <laughs> yeah lo and behold like no one else signs up of yeah. course so same with the guys so. too just yeah. Yeah. Go. yeah yeah um but yeah I don't know squad turned out good yeah. whoever put it, it together awesome. I feel yeah. like Gina was a super good is a super good like fours player you know because I remember seeing her play indoors we were at yeah. SC together she's just like slicing and dice and good serve and Solid all-around player. And Super good passer. Passing. I passing. was going to say, she was, like, in tempo every time and just, like, mm -hmm. perfect pass. Yeah. Just Mikasa's, right? Did. That one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and Brazil yeah. especially was, like, really good serving team. So I feel like yeah. by the end we, like, kind of decided, like, all right, passing's our priority or we can't set the middle. Right. Or you're setting a pin hitter with, like, a double block and, you know, you have, like, Carol Horta and Fernanda it's blocking. Like a, it's, like, right. a great. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> sign your own warrant there. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so it's like, all right, who can pass? And we have, like, Kelly, who's, you know, won a national championship passing. Gina's unbelievable passer. Yeah. Uh, Hartong in the middle hitting. And then, like, 
Allie would come in and either set or play right. I would either set or just whale a ball super far out of bounds. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then Katie Not would be true. our like passing and slash a uh, hot route sub. Hot hot route. Hot route Which, a hot route. She crushed a hot route. Oh, you know? yes. Every time. <laughs> yes. Never disappoints. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's the hot route? You have to ask her. She's the only one who can run them. Yep. Yeah. It's a, you know, trade yeah. trade secret. I'm picturing her just sprinting somewhere <laughs> away from the block and, and like you're not far off you're not else. far off at all <laughs> yeah. just run away far yeah. out <laughs> we had a pretty good playbook for uh, the snow volleyball team but the terminology is not uh it's not appropriate for this family friendly podcast I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure. So, i don't think i heard those so a hot yeah. route we'll, we'll talk about them off camera yeah sure. so, but a, a hot route for us was a shoot to the pin uh, i don't know if it was the same mm. for katie i was thinking it was a shoot just wherever the hitter decides to run. <laughs> and yeah. The, and the, yeah. the setter's just the quarterback, and you just kind of feel and fling it over there somewhere. Yeah. It was a set. It was just set Katie. Set yeah. Katie. Fired hot wherever, she, like, wherever she goes. Find you. Wherever Katie is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Back oh, row. Yeah. Pipe out of the middle. Yeah. <laughs> wherever you want it, bud. Can anyone <laughs> hit on force? Yep. I like that. Yeah. No back row line. No. No. <laughs> that would be gnarly. That would be interesting. That? No. Ali, I just realized something. Every time you have played an international event, you have won a gold medal. You you played a one yeah, star, I and guess, you won. Yeah. And where'd you go? Um, yeah, with Yeah. And with Laura. With like, Laura, sure. yeah. And then you went Norseka. Norseka and Laura Davis. Yeah. One gold. And now you go uh, fours in Doha, world champs. Yeah, pretty And epic. your first snow event, you won too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not a bad a good run. Career. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's been it's been a fun ride so yeah. far. Yeah. When you um, because most of the international events you played so far, not that they're not like serious events, but they're like lower end of the mm-hmm. spectrum. It's not like you're playing like the Rome Major right. or something. Like when you look at them, do you look at it more as like I get to go travel to a really cool spot? It's gonna be a really fun experience, or are you like right. let's like start climbing the ladder, or is it kind of a little bit of everything? A little bit of both honestly for me I like think about it like in Liechtenstein when Laura and I were in the quali like we were down like third set 13-12 and before even getting in the tournament yeah oh my god and so like obviously like terrible scenario but um, (laughs) (laughs) so we're like all right you know in my head going into it I was like it's a win-win either way because like if you lose you get to travel if you win you get to play more volleyball so then we ended up winning and winning the tournament so Worked out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, not bad. So, but yeah, I just think of it as like, you know, like you get to see cool places and play volleyball. So yeah, good scenario. But yeah, yeah still that's... trying to build up the points and everything though, which is a very long process. Yeah, because that's kind of yeah. I'm in a pretty similar boat because like I I'm leaving on a red eye for China tomorrow. But like right. most of the Norsega I get to, I'm like, oh, this would be a fun thing to do. But I wouldn't have been able to get into China without doing all those, like, fun events. Right. I mean, me and Bogue actually snuck into the country quota for Mexico, which is tomorrow morning. Oh, that's awesome. We wouldn't awesome. be able to do that. So yeah, that's the, epic. the fun events, they do add up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Good luck tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. seriously. will be fun. Do you yeah. know who you play? We have uh, Kalinski and Hayden at 9, and Winter plays into Darty and Miles Evans. Oh, bid's nice. yours. Yeah, dream job. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was fun. Awesome. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be super fun. How does it feel uh, going to these events, like in comparison to like a big AVP match or something? You know, like I'm, I'm just picturing myself going and being like, the morning before, I'm just like, man, whatever, let's just go have fun. I don't really care. Versus yeah. like morning before Sunday AVP or like a big five star or something, where you're like in the zone, like right. nervous and all all those fun things. How, what's kind of the difference for you guys? The mindset is definitely different I would say at least for me I don't know for you but Mm -hmm. yeah I mean it's more just like a fun atmosphere more than like I guess not like butterflies yeah and like like nervousness kind of thing um so it's for me but yeah yeah. I think I'm bad to ask because I think slowly over time my like AVP mindset is kind of like drifted more towards the fun tournament right. mindset where well, I, like, whatever works for you you kind of yeah. learning right what works yeah and I don't know I just feel like the game's already just a gift at this point for me like just happy to still be playing so it's <laughs> good well and yeah, it's working it's for you, so you wanna, if you can the, like the more fun you can have in preparation the, right the more you should do that right yeah. if it works yeah 
but I think a lot of us get stuck on like the no no I have to be serious like, right to, now and be yeah. all you know exactly I need to probably work on that but I do too we'll see I, feel I like. think <laughs> it is cool too when you approach the tournament because I'm kind of similar to you where it's like this is going to be fun but when you're an athlete like the competitiveness will kick in yeah no matter even, what even in snow I came in and like like oh, we were yeah. just messing around warming up like dancing doing whatever but then when it's tied like eight eight in the game to fifteen you're like all right like let's go win this thing. It, yeah. it will kick in at some 100%. point. Yeah. No. There's no doubt about it. All of us were competing so <laughs> hard in yes. fours. Yeah. You're like, ah, we're but trying seriously, like, let's right. right. <laughs> find a way. Like, no questions about it. Yeah. Yeah. Some tournaments you might want it to kick in a little earlier than yes. others. Right. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. fair enough. All right, it's kicking in, but I'm down 16-8. Right. All right, in the freeze, let's do it. You see, like, Taylor and Brian playing, like, backgammon. Oh my like, god. That's right. They're out of control. <laughs> and then they won. Yeah. 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 That's them. Listen to the same two songs the entire trip. Oh my gosh. Don't even get me started. Yeah. You have to have them on. What was the soundtrack? Uh, they had Red Light, Green Light. Which I don't even know who was. That was fine. Great song. It, <laughs> Just, never, it never got old once. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. Uh, and then what is that one? Um, Boss. By oh yeah. Mercer. Yeah. That never got old either. Yeah. <laughs> Two great songs you guys should listen to. I'll look, I'll look them up. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure I've heard them already. Yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. Has it been fun for you to see Brian get back? Because it's been a long process for him. Yeah, I think it's been... He's worked harder than anyone, despite, like, you know, not touching a ball for, like, a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Kind of seeing the frustration he had p- post-surgery. Like, you don't even know if you're going to play again when you have a surgery, a couple surgeries, Three as gnarly as he had. Right? Yeah, like shoulder, or did he neglected the shoulder one or declined the shoulder one. I think it's okay. Had a hip one that went super well, and then his knee one was like crazy experimental, really invasive, uh-huh. um, you know, multi year recovery. So it's like, Damn. you know, I'm over here just like, no, oh, I'm just trying to stay afloat, like playing a little <laughs> yeah. bit. And he's over there grinding every single day just to like get back to be on a court. And then yeah. he's, you know, finally getting to play, you know, Hawaii with Rosie. sports at the same time. Yeah, like, coming from indoor. Rehab, yeah. Which is pretty gnarly. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to couple AVPs right before he did the surgeries, right, but, true. like, wasn't 100% healthy. right? Yeah. Think, yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know. It's been unbelievable to see him come back, and yeah. I think he's, like, you know, just getting his teeth back into it. So. For sure. It's insane Exciting. how good he is. Dude. When we were warming Tell up um, so before our match in Hawaii, he was like, dude, I haven't played twos volleyball since Chicago two years ago. He was like, I forget what to do when, like, when, like, a guy gets a dig in twos because there's not three other people to set it. This is a story of my <laughs> entire life. Like, what? I work every <laughs> single day of my life to be good at something. <laughs> he rolls out of bed like, ah. like we try beach today, and it's so good. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah, he's such a jerk. That's hate, so hate, funny. love that human being. Yeah, yeah he'll be fine. <laughs> that thing will be totally okay. Yeah. It'll, it'll be interesting, too. Like, there's a lot of partner shakeups going into next season, I think, besides Ooh, really? the Olympic team. What what's the gossip? Yeah, I'm I mean, I don't know. I, I know that, I don't, honestly don't know what the new teams are, but I know there's been some breakups, mm. and everyone's looking for that fresh meat. You know, once big, there's one breakup at the top, it's just like, jack, um, everyone's six, just like, <laughs> six, seven guy who's coming off injury, he's probably going to get picked up. It'd be cool to see him get picked up by a veteran. He's played with... Played with Rosie in Hawaii. Rosie, right, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. It was Rosie, so that's a great pickup. Yeah. Off the bat. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it'll be interesting to yeah. see him in, like, a full season. Yeah, and Rosie believed him enough because he pulled Rosie into the qualifier, which hasn't happened in a minute. So, yeah, so maybe so they'll... they had to qualify. Maybe they'll stick out the season together. That'll be, That'd be I think that's a great pull for Rosie. Yeah. Teach him like some of the fundamental stuff. That he <laughs> teach him that he's gotta set the second ball if Rosie digs it. <laughs> Not just like get outside. <laughs> High level <laughs> concepts. <laughs> yeah. And he'll be good to go. Yeah. Rosie was funny after because we served Brian a lot. I was like, he's gotta get tired. That's he right, you played that them. Shape. Yeah. Oh no, he was dying. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and Rosie afterwards came up. And he's like, "Why would you serve the like six seven all American outside who can jump like forty on the beach when you on have me sand. setting?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, compact sand. Because <laughs> Bjork was like, like Brian like OT me like forty two straight times, and that was the match. And Bjork was like, "If you just like grab it and like press over," I'm like, "Not getting it, Mark." Get <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, a little okay. fake nails. Big <laughs> 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 That's that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
it landed <laughs> four feet in, but... I know your pain. I feel that way blocking against yeah, basically yeah, I everybody. So I just looked at it, and I was like, well, Brian, that's, that's a good swing. Yeah. <laughs> For you. <laughs> but you have had... I loved your post the other day. Um, oh, yeah. And then Katie commented, like, Volley Woman of the Year, and I fully support that Katie's nation. Katie's the, so, the biggest hype woman in the so USA. I love her so much. I also nominate Carissa Cook for Thank Volley you. Woman of the Year. <laughs> because, yeah, I like, agree. It was around this time a year ago that we went to Martinique, and yeah. uh, you won in, in the jungle. Oh, uh, the jungle on dirt. <laughs> that won, was dirt volleyball. It's yeah, another terrain altogether. Dirt, dirt volleyball in the jungle. Yeah, that was wild. you won gold medal in the snow. And then you yeah. won an AVP in Austin, which, congrats. And if the listeners don't know, I botched up the recording for that, so this is kind of a makeup. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's probably just mumbling anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and then you won Pan Ams with Jace, which mm-hmm. actually, how was that? I haven't actually really gotten a like, chance to talk to you about it a whole lot. Yeah, that one was super cool. Um, almost a little bit like this Doha tournament, where it's like kind of a mini bootleg Olympics, but still like you have random teams that are super good. Mm-hmm. Um Actually, one of Brazil's players in Doha was on the Brazil team that we saw in the final. So, yeah, competition was super high there, too. Um, And, yeah, just, like, another crazy, like, you know, two weeks of being on the road in a cool country, like, uh, representing the United States. That was in Lima, Peru? Lima, Peru. Okay. Yeah. And that was, like, besides Moscow, the coldest, well, besides the other snow ones, like, the coldest tournament (laughs) we played. I didn't realize that would be cold. Right? I know. We were in long sleeves the whole time. Um, so you kind of had every, like, every version of volleyball for sure. Yeah. But yeah, Pan Ams was unbelievable. And, uh, like, what was, there was, what, like, 200-some, like, event, or, I I forget what Mark said. It was, like, an opening ceremony. It was, like, full-on, like, games, right? Yeah. Yeah, the opening ceremony was, like, televised. My mom was, like, texting me, like, you gotta stand on the right side (laughs) so so I can see you. (laughs) (laughs) Um, yeah, like, full-on, like, medals, everything. It was... As close to the Olympics as, you know, I plan on seeing, and it was just, like, <laughs> so neat. <laughs> so, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, and then, I mean, you followed that up with your world champ win in Doha. Doha. And, like, just an awesome year on the AVP, too. Like, yeah. Coming in, were you, like, I don't know, because like, I remember talking to you on our snow trip, and you're like, I don't really know who I'm playing with. We got our mascot oh, coming pupper. in. Oh, what's up? Hey, cutie. Hi. Hello, you want to sit with the girls? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I remember talking to you in, uh, in snow and you're like, yeah, I don't really know who I'm playing with. Like it might be in the qualifier. I don't know. And then you put you and Jace get together and like immediate success. Yeah. I mean, I think this year was just like, hi, he smells my dog. Sorry. I think this year was like, <laughs> kind of went into it with a lot of uncertainty, but I don't know. I think I like did in that silly Instagram post was like, my only two goals were to like not get burned out basically. And just like be really conscious of my limits and like not trying to do too much because I thought I had to and uh sorry if I'm stuttering I have a dog in my lap which is my favorite (laughs) um and then just like to play with really good people so it was like Jace and I had an awesome time I thought we like clicked super well on the court yeah um had so much fun off the court too and then our snow crew was unbelievable and then to add on two more players that were like so fun to hang with and Kelly and Gina it's like oh my god I had like seven cool partners this year so (laughs) um I think the like you know, getting slightly more points than opponents and, like, winning stuff was cool, but <laughs> that was, like, the cherry on top to the other two goals. I love when you describe <laughs> <laughs> Just getting slightly more opponents and, and winning, it's cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, because we all know, like, there's so many times, like, kind of like your Liechtenstein tournament, where you won that tournament, but you were two points away from going home, not even qualifying. Right. And having, like, a sad, like, oh, I got to go drink wine in a foreign country post as opposed to, like, gold medal. <laughs> right. So, I don't know. I always, like, try to just think about, like, eh, it's not really about if I won. Winning helps. It makes everything way more fun. Yeah, Definitely preferable sure. to win. But at the end of the day, it's like, I can't control that because, you know, the person I'm playing might just ball out and good on them. Yeah. So, just have a bunch of cool it's partners. Is like there, it. like, yeah. a highlight, like, one highlight this year that you can even pinpoint? I think Doha is just so fresh in my mind that that yeah. was, like, really cool. <laughs> but, no, I was, like, it was just a pretty awesome year overall. It was, yeah. It was fun. And a you got fun engaged. Moments. And you got engaged. Yeah. Congrats. Just, yeah, win. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to do any work for that. I just said, what? Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that was the easy win. <laughs> yeah. Don't say no. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to, like, 
kind of alluded to this in that same post you referenced, but like I want to just do nothing for the next two months and process. Yeah, I was about to ask you what's what's off season looking like for you guys if, if no weird events pop up. Yeah. Yeah, if no weird events pop up, <laughs> which it. I hope they do, but <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just still training, still getting after it. Um, running a lot as well. I like to run during the off season, so and traveling yeah. a little bit. Yeah, it's good. Are you going anywhere? Yeah, I'm going to Paris and Prague with my mom and sister. When are you going to Paris? December, beginning of December. To, okay, I'm going at the end of December. Oh. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited for that. Um, and yeah, just doing that. Yeah. And are you like, because you kind of popped around between defense and blocking and split blocking. Right. Are you trying to like focus on one position or do you kind of like. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to split block um, this upcoming season. It's hard to find some split blockers out there though. Um, but I'm working a lot more on defense as well. So. Yeah. It's kind of my game plan. so many split blockers in one room right now. That's true. Wild. Wild. <laughs> Rare breed. Yeah. I'll just stay at the net. Yeah. I don't know. We saw your defense the other day. Yeah. <laughs> like, smooth. <laughs> Good Halloween costume. <laughs> You'll be a defender so for Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> yeah. I felt so bad for Jess Gaffney. She was like, hey, like, I need someone to sub in. We're playing Sarah and Kelly. And that, that was, like, my first day back training after like two weeks off and like I'm terrible defense as it is shanked at least like 200 balls like that was like <laughs> that was just the tip of the iceberg right, right in the <laughs> fire <laughs> like Jess I'm so sorry these are like perfect blocks they're just picking on me so, <laughs> and we have Sarah and Kelly coming in in like 20 minutes so they're just gonna oh, keep nice. bullying me nice <laughs> perfect <laughs> do you think is split blocking becoming more common do you guys think because like I don't know, Chrissy, you were a full-time blocker for the last mm-hmm. couple of years with Katie, and then you and Jace split, which mm-hmm. I don't think Jace was a split blocker either before. No. Yeah, and I kept trying to talk her out of split blocking because I feel like you on defense sometimes. Where I'm like, <laughs> oh, I should not be back here. <laughs> Just send me to the net. There's too much space. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got to run? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, we started split blocking, especially in the long tournaments. It's, like, such an advantage, you know? Like, yeah, I think Austin, is, a big part sure. of us, you know, doing so well was, like, we just kind of outlasted the heat. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if split blocking's on the rise. But yeah. It seems I like, like the it. college game has a lot of it. Yeah, and I like it too because you're not that you're not fully engaged when you're like only a blocker and only a defender, but I feel like when you're doing both, you're just always in the play and like mm-hmm. you can just like always be engaged fully. And so. yeah, you're never yeah. like screwed if one person gets caught at the net. Right. Yeah, and you don't have exactly. your blocker cut running like a ridiculous distance to yeah, get the, exactly. net, the net late. That's the part I forget when I go and like yeah. block and practice. I'm like, oh, oh, I gotta go get there. Okay. Like, oh god, <laughs> son of a gun. Yeah. If I went back to to blocking full time, I would definitely forget to go up there. Like, oh a lot. yeah, we'll yeah. just dig. Don't yeah. worry about it. Uh, no one up. Uh, yeah, that works. Yeah, that's <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I don't think it's gotten more popular on the men's side though, right? There hasn't. Yeah, it's kind of just think, been me and Trev. And, yeah. And then well, a few sure international teams. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the Latvians have done it Latvians forever, have, and Spain's are, done it forever. Yeah. But that's kind of it. Yeah, I think so. I also feel like it's weird to play against a split-blocking team, though, because mm-hmm. the defensive looks are so different. I yeah. feel like there's totally. kind of a little built-in advantage there. Okay. Like, I notice, like, you block so differently than I block, so yeah. differently than, like, a Jace block, so we're just, like, I don't know, you put any two of us here together and be, like, it's hard to Whoa, get into a rhythm, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Trevor and I are like opposite styles on defense and blocking. Mm. Like he's gonna be more reading, and I'm like kind of sh- trying to jump all over the place and do whatever, you know. Yeah. It's more shifty, and I do right. the same thing on defense, and he does the same thing on defense. That's so funny. That's you're like getting like the opposite looks. Every yeah. Jason and I as well. Yeah. <laughs> like just moving way too much. That's right. Yeah. He's doing it right. Exactly. <laughs> We need to, like, both come and meet in the middle this year. Yeah. <laughs> it's been our plan. Yeah. See if it works. One of the things that you brought up, too, that I'm kind of curious about with you guys is because Tri's mentioned how you know, he's only getting half the reps that he used to get because he used to be, like, full two hours of blocking reps mm-hmm. or, like, a full two hours of defensive reps. Do you guys find that to be, like, tough to balance? Hmm. Do you ever feel like you're lacking in defense because you only had an hour's worth of defensive reps or whatever it may be? I think, yeah, for me at least, I... I'm transitioning to playing more defense, so I definitely am behind on that. Um, so as of right now, I'm just lacking in defense. So, mm-hmm. but 
Did you split in college? With I Sophie? yeah, I split my last year, but before mm-hmm. that, I was playing as a blocker behind Nick Martin. Okay. Or in front, yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm in a similar boat. Like, haven't yeah. really played that much defense since college as well. So yeah. Like, First Picked couple turning, I don't know about that. I got hit with the ball enough. Like, well, your second tournament, you only won your first ADP. So. I do not think that was due to my defensive prowess. <laughs> we'll put it that way. <laughs> so yeah, still figuring it out. But I don't know. I feel like it like makes your game more well-rounded. I know sometimes when I would be in the situations of like just getting block reps, it's kind of easy to like zone out when you're on practice five of the week and you're like, all right, still blocking. Yeah. Whereas yeah. when you're doing both, yeah. you're just like, you like always you said, engaged. Yeah. Always engaged. It's a little fresh. Yeah. yeah. Too ADD. It spices it up fun. a little bit. It's yeah. way more fun. And I think as beach players, like we're the players who have transitioned out of indoor for a reason. Mm-hmm. And we like love having a well rounded game. And the game sort of for some people is going into like being more specialized. Mm-hmm. And for me and it sounds like for you guys too, it's just like more fun. Yeah. Just to like Yeah, totally. Like it pissed me off when like Hayden's getting all these defensive reps and I would I would talk to the guys, you know, I'm always running my mouth. And <laughs> and just being like, I could do that. I could throw me back on D. Just give me a shot. <laughs> but then we do like one play or something, and then they give me shit because I don't get it. I'm like, yeah. I haven't been back here in three years. Yeah. I swear I could do it. <laughs> so now I finally get, I finally get to prove myself. Yeah. And uh, but it's it's just more fun. But I do like Travis was saying like, I, for sure feel like I'm missing reps at the mm. net or something. You know, like because I, I was very like. I need to get my touches, my, my, get my hands on the ball blocking, make mm-hmm. sure they're in the right spot, or else I'm, like, seeing the right thing, but my hand's not going to the right spot. Totally. And I feel like now I have to get twice as many reps because I don't, you know, have practice. Uh, I'm playing defense. So it's interesting, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah. So it's way more fun if you yeah. if you have the right partner. Right. Yeah. I mean, I have a great time on defense. Don't get me wrong. I laugh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> defense is like your therapy. It's like, yeah, I've got fun. Like, yeah. like when I'm blocking, I'm like actually trying to like get better and I get super frustrated. And like when I shank like my 87th ball, I'm just like, yeah, I'll get the 89. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Love it. Actually, bringing it back to the fours, I thought that was a really fun part of the defense was like, it was kind of indoor-y where totally. you get to just be set up on the block and you're like, oh, I have you and maybe kind of you. I'm like, Mm-hmm. I don't know. You're not like tracking a hitter and maybe an option and having to like so run not fakes. Many variables. Yeah, yeah we in just, a way. We were just blocking ball too yeah. for the most part. So it was like, well, I just got to go get it. Yeah. So it was when like the, kind of freedom. So did you guys have like what two on the outside <laughs> and the middle? Yeah, we kind of to use indoor terminology to go back in time a million years. We kind of <laughs> did like a bunch reads. So we're both a little in, like split the difference blocking. Okay. So we could both block the middle because you know. Fernanda in the middle, she's a pretty good hitter. Um, yeah, above average. Yeah, above average, to say the least. <laughs> she put it on a highlight reel in pool play. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're like, okay, we need two on her, and then the other two we kind of like, if we could send two, we would. Yeah. Because they're running kind of medium offense. Okay. Um, and if not, then we just have one blocker, and then you just try yeah. to get in front of it. Yeah. But I think everybody got a lot of blocks in yeah. all the matches because of that. Yeah. We just had two up, so we didn't have like three up and like one back or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Absurd like that. Yeah. Or like pulling off. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I thought it worked out well. Pull to get the cut. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's it's fun. fun. That's it's like the perfect little combination between indoor and beach. You still get to be yeah. super free and creative, but you get that like team. The vibe camaraderie again, right? for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That was something we were saying. Yeah. Being back on a team was really fun. It was like epic. a big team. <laughs> yeah. I bet. Especially because you guys were with the guys a lot. I'm assuming too, and that was like such a fun crew. Mm-hmm. Just with Taylor and Brian and the McKibbins and Casey and Troy, who just looks like he was just boogieing the entire time. <laughs> yeah, you have to force them to have fun. It's too bad. <laughs> yeah. But we, like, didn't see them that much because we were kind of on the morning schedule the first few days because we had a morning yeah. match and morning practices. So we had to, like, kind of battle through that. And then they were on, like, a super late schedule. Uh, mostly, I think, because Troy brought his Switch, so they were playing video games till like, 3 in the morning. Yep. <laughs> so both just, like... <laughs> they were, like, going to bed at 3 a.m., waking up at 11. Yeah. It was <laughs> on purpose. Just don't switch the time zone. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. And then all of us had one morning where I think I woke up at, like... This is probably, like, morning number <laughs> two or three. I woke up at, like, 3 in the morning just awake, you know, because of jet lag. It's, it was, like, 10 hours difference. Oh, it's yeah. 
Yeah, so 10 hours difference. I wake up at 3 in the morning and, like, open Instagram, obviously. Like, one of <laughs> Kelly's photos and immediately get a text from her. Are you awake? All caps. <laughs> I'm jazzed. <laughs> so it became, like, one of our jokes. <laughs> and then it, you turned out to be awake. <laughs> yeah, we were all awake pretty much at the same time. And then, yeah. like, come around, like, 5.30, we all get, like coffee and yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're all just like wide awake just wired we're talking to kelly's room at like four in the morning like well now what do we do <laughs> it's crazy yeah when you're like you've been up for like two and a half hours and you're like wow it's 5 a.m yeah like, nope. i just got myself to five <laughs> yeah. it's still really early just yeah. trying to stay awake till sunset at like 5 30 p.m to go to bed yeah that's yeah. brutal sometimes i'll do the wake up get up go to the lobby whatever hang out maybe even have breakfast back in the room by like six and then you try to sleep again yeah like yeah you hit like, it's like a nap time yeah and then you end up waking up at eight o'clock so it, it seems it's normal. yeah <laughs> yeah i feel like we made the mistake of one of those morning i think it was that same morning oh yeah we went to like this coffee shop that was 24-hour coffee shop like right next to our hotel and it made no joke the strongest coffee i've ever had <laughs> in my entire coffee. life and we drank coffee all over the world at this point with all these silly trips. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was insane. So, and you got... Hartong and I got these... Well, okay, Hartong ordered them, but it was these <laughs> large cappuccinos. I swear, it was a bowl. Just a bowl it was, of It had two coffee. handles. Two handles. Oh. Handle just so much caffeine to the face. <laughs> it was gnarly. I think Hartong was sitting there, and she's like, I don't really feel it. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh my god. She's like <laughs> shaking. She's like, I have to wait. I have to go. <laughs> Full body twitching, sprints out of the coffee shop. Oh. I can see our tone doing that too. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Apparently, all the boys so were funny. just like eating pre workout without water. And yeah. It was Hello. weird. It was just getting like weird. Casey, it sounds like Casey was on the trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think, boys. I think yeah. that and the hair cutting for them oh, was like, oh Casey's hair cutting was hilarious. It was cute. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I got to ask, how was Qatar? Like, you know, there's a lot of talk about not bringing women out there on those kind of trips when I first went out it was like kind of a big deal like oh we can't yeah. even bring our women trainers but then as I went in the next few years it was like oh no a lot of teams are bringing coaches it doesn't seem it doesn't seem that weird except for the ladies dressed as ninjas right um how was it for you guys like being out there a group of girls in a female event I'm surprised they even had a female event right um honestly it was I felt like completely safe and everything and like I really enjoyed it I mean mm-hmm. the only down part was like we had to like cover our knees and shoulders so it was really hot but I mean it was while playing no so while we were playing we wore swimsuits right. mm-hmm. and then right. like around the area we could wear shorts and like t-shirts whatever mm-hmm. um but when we were like walking around we had to wear like pants and like t-shirts so They're, like in 95 degree desert yeah <laughs> Hey, put your pants on. Yeah. Still, but like, still in Doha mode. Still in Doha yeah. mode. You know, I never left, apparently. But. Uh, yeah, I was I was a little resistant going there. Because uh-huh. obviously it's so different than our yeah. culture. Um, and it's hard not to kind of like get your hackles up being told what right, to wear exactly. and like how to behave. Um, but I don't know. I, I felt like super safe the entire time, like you said. Like right. I feel like people were extremely respectful and nice. So respectful, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And I think, like, especially competing as a woman there, for all of us, I think Gina wrote a really good article for ADP about Mm -hmm. this. I don't know if it was on P1440 also, but... Uh, Just ADP. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Totally worth a read. Um, But I think she did a good job of recapping, like, I think any time that we can represent our gender and our country and, like, just be a positive force for representation there, Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was really cool. And I thought in our finals... Granted, he was just getting there early to watch the men's match because Qatar played USA in the in the finals for men. Uh-huh. Uh, but the sheik of the country did get to see some of our match. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he was Katie, yeah. um, spreading the love. Katie yeah. told me that he was super like welcoming to you guys so too because he was like, standing room only and he, he like, like brought like, us down chairs and everything. Like, you guys like, didn't have, like seats. Yeah, that was, that was great. That was immediately after though the. Local police tried to kick us out. That's true. We were, we were, we were just like standing there looking at him, like, we don't understand, uh, to like not get kicked out because we yeah. want to watch the guys. Right, yeah. yeah. And then I think the, the sheik saw something of that sort and was like, uh, fix it. It's so big, then we like, this is a yeah. total big dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So wow. we're like, oh, we love this country. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, we're really nice. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's cool. It's just cool to see like how many, because like you guys would not 
go to Doha normally, I would think. No. <laughs> just no. a random guess. No. Um, no. You guys oh. have done, like, so many cool places. I was just going to say, all for our guests, all the FIVBs are men-only events. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah for now. We've heard of, for now. Maybe exactly. we'll switch. Sounds yeah. like took a step in the right direction with this one. And we will take all credit if they do switch. <laughs> That's all us. <laughs> there we go. So you're welcome, future. Yeah, dog desert queens. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mostly kidding, sorry. <laughs> What's been, uh, like, the coolest off-court thing that you guys have done or seen? Um, you know, maybe it's getting jazzed off the coffee bowls <laughs> or, or just treat days in Venice. You know, it could be... Whatever. Oh, man. I'll go for... I'll, like, I'll use a second because I want to piggyback off the Venice comment. Yeah. Treat days in Venice was unbelievable. That was our, <laughs> our, Alps, our Alps trip with the two snow tournaments. That um, was unreal. For anyone who maybe missed that episode, we got, like, a few days to go and explore, and we ate all the treats all over Venice. Venice is the best place in the world. <laughs> it was awesome. Bringing that to Doha, though, there is a place in Doha called The Pearl, which is, like, this man-made island, more or less, or, like, kind of, I don't know, isthmus? I'm, I don't know what it's called, but they, they made it, and it's, like, just a bunch of million-dollar yachts and, like, high-rise buildings, luxury apartments, like, super, just this testament to, like, what money can build in the desert. Yeah. And within it, there's a section, and I don't remember what it was called, but we went one morning, and it was literally, mm-hmm. like, they recreated Venice. Like, they had a Grand Canal, all the buildings were cute and painted, they had that... Yeah, that tall yeah. bridge that spans, mm-hmm. but uh-huh. it was all kind of miniaturized. Yeah. And we went at like 8.30 in the morning yeah. to 10 in the morning, and it was empty, hotter than hell. <laughs> so it was completely empty. So we're like, we made some videos, and we're like walking around basically what felt like Venice this. again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like the zombie yeah, apocalypse like, yeah. version. <laughs> and <laughs> super hot. Would you say you're like, if you like Venice, but don't like people? Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that would have been your place. <laughs> would have been the move. Yeah. So Venice 1.0 and Venice uh, 2.0. Okay. Those are mine for yeah. sure. Yeah. Venice, that was hot epic. Hot. <laughs> yeah. Um, gosh, I have no idea, honestly. There's just been like different places where like there's just been different memories that I've had that have been all epic so mm-hmm. I can't choose just one <laughs> yeah for sure yeah nobody went sand duning uh I Qatar. really wanted to so badly but we just didn't have the time yeah. it you was the connection and everything yeah like I had the hookup and everything but from the didn't front happen. desk and all yeah. that we uh unfortunately we had time to to uh, go sand dunes so this jealous. last time. Was rad. <laughs> yeah, did you so do the falconing stretchy. too, or? Uh, <laughs> Is that what they no, call it? but falcons? well, there were, there was falcons out there. You drive out like forty minutes, you meet like there's this group of like people with like these tents and there's tea. You go sit and have tea, awesome. right on the edge of the desert, kind of, and uh, and then you just start charging through the giant sand dunes, and they're like That's epic. legitimate in like Toyota Forerunners. Like, the whole thing is on, like, 45-degree angles. And you, you think, if someone else was driving, I'd be like, we're going to flip right now. I'd be screaming. But, like, for some reason, these guys know how to angle it. So where you're, oh like, the God. car's sliding down the dunes sideways while going, and they're kind of just holding it at the right. And you're, like, pinned against the window, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's super uh, sketchy. I'm kind of glad we didn't have time now. This sounds like my nightmare. <laughs> it is, but it's pretty rad. And they deflate the tires so they're super soft and they catch on oh, the nice. sand. And then you go out to like, uh, it's like this, was it Saudi Arabian? Yeah, uh, I heard what that. Country is it? Yeah, the Saudi border Arabia. or whatever. Yeah. So you actually went body surfing. Small oh, waves. Wow. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it just bag on the waves really quick. <laughs> Small waves. It's whatever. It's not that bad in case you guys are going on a surf trip, I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I like to like try to catch a wave in every as many countries as I can, so that's why that's I, cool. I had to jump that's in. Awesome. I'm like, oh, there's it's big enough that's to catch. Awesome. But I didn't want people picturing like I'm just getting these sick barrels and like body surfing <laughs> in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it's an audio medium. Paint your picture, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Um, and then yeah, you can see Saudi Arabia like across the bay. You don't really go there, but it's that's a cool experience. For sure. That's awesome. Next time. Is that Next where time. like the desert just like hits the ocean? Yeah. It's the like like only like place like that. Sand as Wild. far as you can see, and then like, even when you go in the water to swim, it like drops off right away. Oh. So it's pretty rad. Yeah. That'd be cool. Did you go on camels too? Uh, no? Yes, we did. Oh. 
The camels are by the tents, and oh, and you can, like, just... pay them, and then they walk oh, okay. you, like, 100 yards and back, and you're like, wow, I just, <laughs> like, wow, I'm okay. such a sucker, but that's right. <laughs> how to do it. And I got pictures of it. <laughs> it how to do it. Yeah. Do it for the photo. For the Insta, yeah. <laughs> We're so jealous. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. Good times. For sure. I mean, you that's guys great. have had plenty of good times this year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's, is it resting? Is it off-season officially now, though? Officially, for me personally, yeah. yes, I was not joking about. It. I'm only playing short court for the next <laughs> and month, fours, maybe. Of and fours, yeah. nice. and fours. Out fours. I did get for a sure. text from Nancy about playing fours. I just did. don't want to brag, oh. but uh, <laughs> yeah, we gotta yeah. all get back in on that. One hundred percent. Well, thank you guys for coming on. Thanks and, for having uh, us. And congrats, world champs. Yeah. Like, world champs. Chris, like 15th different world champion title this year. Yeah, of obscure sports only. Yeah, with the asterisk at the end of it. We'll take it, though. Obscure sports world champion. Yeah. The we, should do a, we should do a Sandcast Awards show. We should. Oh, like right. the We're all dressed up. Like the Pokies. The Pokey Awards. The, the Sandcast Awards. Oh, we yeah. can do that. We will. All right. We're going to have trophies. Yeah, we will. We'll tro- yeah. We'll have like a bunch of guests just like behind the camera, like filtering in, come on in. To, yeah. to give the awards. Yeah. So we can have a little and everything. Yeah. Right. We're in. That sounds great. That sounds cool. awesome. That's good. Sandcast yeah. Dundee Pokey Awards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. We'll work on the name, but stay tuned for that, folks. <laughs> well, we do ask our guests one question uh, at the end of each episode, which is if you had to give advice to an up-and-coming beach volleyball player, what would that one piece of advice be? Hmm. <laughs> I can't remember what I said last time, so I will just try to go super different and or different than what I probably would have said and just say yes to fun opportunities. Because I think if I had, like you brought up, Katie tricking me into going on Norseka trips last year two years ago, <laughs> Uh, my default mode is to, like, be an inside cat, and I love that, and can stay in my house for, like, weeks on end. So uh, had I not surrounded myself with people who made me say yes to fun trips, I think we wouldn't have got to go on all these cool experiences. So yeah, either say yes yourself or just find pushy friends who make you have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, say yes to the dress. Oh, yeah. Before you were saying how much you love the dress shopping. See, I think it's like say no to the dress so I get to keep like Ooh. drinking champagne and trying on dresses. <laughs> so it's Sounds it. like Got a good plan. <laughs> Got it. Um, I would agree with that as well, like saying yes, but um, also just like have fun and keep playing. Like even if it's obscure sports, like what we've been doing, but like just having fun and playing, it really just, it's great. Yeah. Love it. I love it. Snow dog desert queens of weird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great hanging out with you guys. Great yeah, to see you thanks guys. for having yes. us. Half my international <laughs> trips have included, more than half have included at least one of you two. Yeah. Nice. So, I feel kind of betrayed when you go on a trip without me, I'm honestly. Already missing <laughs> you guys. <and> you <laughs> oh, good luck. That'll yeah. be fun. Okay. Yeah, I'll listen to Sandcast after that. <laughs> It'll be a fun one. You've been to China enough. It'll be a... I've been to this event. Yeah. So uh-huh. I won it last year. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Cool. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks. I'm going to stick with my win and uh, let you go yeah. have fun on that one. So generous of you. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. All right, guys. We'll All shoot. Right. Take it easy. Late.